dear brothers and sisters, we are lucky to live close to the ocean, rivers and lakes. There are many people in New South Wales who have boats not only used for recreation, but for fishing too. When I was a child, I loved fishing. My oldest brother, Peter, enjoyed fishing too. As he was more experienced than I, he was usually more successful in catching a big fish. Nevertheless, I was always excited when I caught a fish no matter the size. But even though we had a good equipment and sometimes spent a whole day patiently waiting, we caught nothing. There were times we went to the lakes not familiar to us. We saw other people sitting 10 meters away from us who were catching a lot of fish, but we couldn't catch even a smallest one. Locals knew good spots to be successful. Many years passed, my brother continues to go fishing. He now takes our nephew, Gregory, with him. But why am I talking about fishing today? In today's gospel, Jesus approached a few people who were fishing. As he was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were making a cast in the lake with their net, for they were fishermen. As soon as Jesus saw them, he asked them to leave their nets behind. He said, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. He called those particular men because he knew what was in their hearts and that they would positively respond to his invitation. In fact, they left their nets at once and followed him. My dear friends, God's call is very powerful. Of course, the first disciples were free to say no to Jesus. However, somehow they felt inspired that they were about to start a new vocation, much more important than their previous one. Not only Peter and Andrew left everything behind that day. Going on from there, Jesus saw another pair of brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in their boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them. At once, leaving the boat and their father, they followed him. Brothers and sisters, it is a beautiful vocation to be fishers of men. It is not only my personal call to bring people to Jesus. It is your vocation, too. We are all equipped to do it by the grace of our baptism and confirmation. It is only about our willingness to go to the places where there are fish, to the places where they are lost and in need of Jesus. Our Christian vocation in our modern time is to tell others about our positive experience of God and His Church. Of course, in the process of catching the people for Christ, we need to be patient. Our approach must be loving and respectful. But we cannot give up, even if we have to wait for a long time for a result. Sometimes parents are waiting for conversion of their adult sons and daughters for a long time. In the letter to the Corinthians that we read today, St. Paul expressed his wish, be united again in your belief and practice. Loving patience is the key that one day will open the door of surprise and excitement seeing our loved ones coming back to Jesus. So let us try to catch people every day, bringing them to unity in belief and practice, bringing them to life in abundance and salvation, offered to the world by Jesus Christ.